In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete entire tracks and individual items here in GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone. Let's go. GarageBand iOS allows you to delete things in two different ways. You can either delete the entire track. Now to do that, we tap right here on the actual icon and hit the delete button here. That will remove the track and any items that are on that track. It works the same way here for audio tracks. Tap there, tap delete, and they go away. Now, if you make a mistake, don't worry. The undo button is here to help you. We tap undo, that track comes back. We tap undo, and that track comes back as well. Unfortunately, there's no way to multi-select tracks. So if you have a multiple tracks you need to delete, you'll need to tap them, tap again, and delete them one by one. That's entire tracks. But what if you want to delete out just one particular section of audio or MIDI? That's what we're going to cover now. To delete an audio item, we simply tap on the item, tap again, and hit the delete button here. That's going to delete that completely. We can again undo it by tapping on the undo button. And did you know you can redo by tapping and holding on the undo button, you can redo that and undo that. Now make sure if you delete something and you want to undo it, you do that before you close the project. As soon as you close out of a project, unfortunately all those deletions, any of that undo history, is lost. If you want to do the same here with a MIDI item, it's exactly the same. We can tap it, tap it again, and hit the delete button, and that's going to delete it. If you want to delete just a particular portion here, you'll firstly need to split your track. So let's just say we wanted to delete a portion of this. We can tap this and then hit the split button. We can split it, and then we're going to have two separate sections here. You can then choose which section you want to delete, tap delete, and that's gone. So you can delete there. Now, the other cool thing with deleting, we can actually select multiple items out here as opposed to the track view, and I'll show you that now. The first way to select multiple items is to tap and hold on the first item and then tap on other items like this. And you can see that we can select multiple items. They're all highlighted now. We can just tap on one of those, hit the delete button, and look at that. Everything that we've selected is deleted. Let's undo that again. The other way that we can do this is by drawing a box. And this is actually the easier way. So especially if you have some space before the track there, you can just tap and hold. And you see you get your flashing box. And then you can just drag that around. And as many things as you drag that around, that is what's going to be selected. And then when you're ready to delete, you just release that tap, tap again, and hit the delete button. And this works for a lot of the other functions as well if you wanted to do multi-selecting. So you've got your tap and hold method, or you can drag around. The one final thing you can do is if for whatever reason you want to delete absolutely everything and start again, if we tap out here in any blank space and hit select all, then you got it. You've selected absolutely everything. We can now tap in one of these, hit delete, and blank project time. There you go. That's everything you need to know about deleting here in GarageBand. Heaps more GarageBand related tips here on the channel. Jump down to the description for a whole bunch of videos and I'll see you next time.